Artificial intelligence is rapidly advancing and becoming a part really of our daily workload. But as companies all across the country use it, public trust in the technology is actually dwindling. We are putting that into focus tonight. I was designed to save the world. People who have looked to the sky and see I'll take that from them first. Avengers Age of Ultron coming out in 2015, showing an invention of artificial intelligence trying to take over the world. There's only one path to peace. But close to a decade later, AI quickly becoming a part of our everyday lives, even finding a cavity at the dentist office. The system noted a possible area of infection or a fracture of the tooth meant to make things easier and safer. 20 of these fire sensors are coming to Maui, and here are their proposed locations, and they're aiming to have them here by next month. Even bringing the king himself back to life, well, I knew that I but still creating challenges. AI-driven information operations could target government officials or certain segments of the public. And now a cause for a lack of trust. AI has become a sophisticated weapon that can be effectively utilized by even the most unsophisticated scammers. Well, take a look at this. Axios reports globally trust in AI companies has dropped 53 percent. That is down from 61 percent five years ago. And in the United States, trust has dropped 15 percent over that same time period. So joining me now is Sarah Wetzel with the Better Business Bureau. Sarah, really always appreciate your time. So we are seeing more and more of this technology being used in order to scam people by bad actors. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about when it comes to emails or any kind of electronic um, uh, communications that way. What do people need to watch out for when it comes to those? And it could be written by AI. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and first, just to preface it, is that this is something consumers are going to have to keep their eye on. Mm -hmm. Because as technology evolves, AI evolves, these tips are going to change, too. But right now, what you need to look for in text is look for typos. And the interesting thing is it used to always be, you know, look for typos. If there's grammatical errors, that was the red flag. Now it's almost you want, you want to hope to see a typo, because that means that it's actually a human. Mm -hmm. Because with AI, there are no mistakes, and that's just not likely. We have human error. There is going to be, you know, you forget the apostrophe, you forget a comma somewhere. So look to see if it's almost too perfect. Another thing is check for incorrect information. A lot of times these data bots are only trained on trained on certain data sets, and so their information may be outdated. It also may be very repetitive, and so they only have key phrases or words, and they just may repeat that. That could be a red flag. Check the tone. It's obviously going to sound very robotic, very very emotionless. Humans are going to have more casual language, some slang to it. And then finally, if it just sounds off, double check it somewhere. Go to a trustworthy source and see what you're receiving in text is actually true or not. And Sarah, when it comes to deep fake videos and images, really those are coming up all of the time. Mm -hmm. So uh, they aren't new, but what are the ways to spot some of these fake um, photos that we're seeing. Yeah, and that is so hard, Corey. So sometimes you have to back up and just look at the context of that photo and if that makes sense. Or, you know, if they're trying to urge you to send money, that's sometimes a red flag. If it's a politically driven photo or are they trying to get a reaction out of you, or is it a loved one? That's really what you have to be careful of because if it's a loved one, you want to reach out to them directly and make sure that it's actually them. Um, you also just, you know, want to zoom in, look and see mm -hmm. if there's anything distorted. Maybe you see a celebrity or a politician or a loved one again and it just seems off zoom in and see if there's anything you know like I said distorted sometimes we see like a coffee cup that's not on the table maybe it's floating you also want to look at accessories like glasses jewelry things like that that just seem off and then also those physical traits there's some less um, advanced AI and it's really hard for them to get those physical traits sometimes we may see you know the ears that are, yeah. are that are off mm -hmm. hands and toes fingers um, sometimes hands have the wrong amount of fingers so it 
really look at all those little things. And then also use a reverse image search. Go to Google Images or 10i. You can put that image in there and see if it's being used other on other sites online. And that's where you know will really let you know that this is probably a scam image that's being used other places. It could help show where the origin is from or if it's fake or not. And are there similar things you can do for actual videos? Yes, absolutely. Whenever you're looking for videos, for that you really want to look for like blur spots or flickering lights. Yeah. Um, a lot of times AI generated um, videos will have where flickering is just on the person that's talking or off to the side or in the background. Another thing is just looking for things that just don't sound right. So listen very closely. If the inflection seems off, if there's choppy sentences, or also if the background noise does not match up with the location where they're at, that's a red flag. And then finally, when it comes to audio, if it's a loved one, there too, just call that person because what scammers are doing are using AI generated phone calls to impersonate a loved one, a friend, and at the end of the day, they're trying to get your money and your personal information. It's so sad that's happening too, but we know what's happening. This AI is, we're gonna have to get used to it because exactly. the technology is there, but some yes. very good words of wisdom for us. Sarah, <laughs> Thanks, thank Corey. you. And we want your take. Do you use artificial intelligence? Is it technology you trust or is it something maybe that needs more oversight? You can email us at your take at firstalert4.com. We'll be